Hi and welcome to CropEye 2 Unboxing. I'm a big fan of CropEye. As you can see, I have the CropEye 1 right here and I just received the CropEye 2 for an unboxing video. Let's open it right in and dig inside and see what's included with the CropEye 2. Once we open the CropEye 2, we can see the box is quite nice. We have a scratch here, Python, Arduino support, microbit. Seems like they thought about everything and included it just inside. Now, once we open it, we can see we have the Minecraft pages. I guess it's for paper craft where we create the Minecraft blocks, put the NFC cards inside and we can play with it. Let's put it aside and come back to it later. All right, inside the box we have a couple of things. Let's start by getting those components out and later look into the crop I2. So as we can see, we have two remotes here, probably for playing retro Pi games. That's pretty cool because those are pretty useful. They are USB based, so it's not any specific ports or interfaces, very easy to play. Let's put those aside. Then we have jumpers, some connectors, I guess it's for extension cable that we can make some projects. We have the NFC here, we have some resistors, buttons. Let's have a look what we have more. Oh, right, we have the mouse, which is right here. Then we have the motor. Yeah, the step motor, which we can connect into the crop eye. I guess, I don't know, I haven't opened it yet, but I guess we can connect it right the same way we connect it to the crop eye one. Oh, this is the NFC cards, which you can see they are pretty nice. All right, what do we have here? All right, a remote, IR remote controller, necessary for a lot of projects. Here we have the power cable, LEDs. Wow, that's a lot of things in small package. Here we have some crow tail connect sensors. So we can see this is for soil moisture, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, that's a lot. A crow tail reflective sensor. Wow, that's a lot of sensors. Okay, here I found we have the SD card. I guess it's already includes the Raspberry Pi image that we are going to use. We're going to put everything here. This one we will keep here because we'll need it. And then, we have some screwdriver and some other cables. All right, let's dig to, oh wait, wait, there is something here, small which I have, not... that one is kind of tough to get. Okay, this is the micro SD card, which we are going to use to put the Raspbian image or the crop i2 image into it, so we can burn it and run directly into the crop i2. Okay, here we have some user manual and books. Oh, that's heavy. Wow, we have a Python book, we have a scratch book. That's pretty nice, very detailed in English. That's great. Previously we had to read PDFs, like I had to read some PDFs from the crop I one, which made it very uncomfortable. Now we have a printed books, that's great. We have some manual, great. Let's put those aside. Here, under the crop I two, I just took the crop I two out, we have a battery, battery pack, great. Now, let's put this box aside again and take out the crop I2. First impression that I feel, it's very solid. It's molded plastic. It's not like the crop I1, which feels a bit bulky. This is very thin, looks very much like a laptop, like a whole system. It's not so heavy, which makes it feel really good. You, we can see that they have the crop I2 logo right here, which is kind of made from metal glass or some other material. It feels very nice. Once we open the crop i2, wow, that's really, really nice. A huge screen, a camera, and a keyboard. Now, if we try to take the keyboard out, wow, it exposed the PCBA, which we will use to program. Now, if I compare it to the crop i1 PCBA, I can see a lot of difference. First of all, this matrix LED looks a little different. This is RGB matrix LED, which is very different from the traditional crop i1 matrix, which we have. Um, there is a lot of changes here. Uh, we have some analog sensor like the joysticks and some other things. We have the fan integrated. This looks very, very convenient. Let's put the keyboard back in and flip the laptop. Here we have the battery case, very easy to open. We can just plug in the battery inside. It's very, very convenient. Wow, that's great, great design. Here we have the case. Once we open it, we can see the Raspberry Pi inside. A lot of people complained, and I also personally complained that in the crop I1, we had the difficulty to get the SD card out. Here it seems it's very easy. You just, you can flip it out and put it right in. 
and apparently there is already SD card inside, so we are not gonna touch it. We can see the HDMI port, the USB driver, and many, many other details. It's very convenient. There is no screwdrivers. We can just take it out, put it in. Very, very convenient. We can see here the model and the power bank that is used. That's really, really great. All right, the next stage we would like to try is to actually connect the Cropi to the power and see how it boots up and what's included inside of our Cropi 2 system. So let's get this cable running, connect it in, and see how it does. 